were you even alive? Story for another day. It's the mind walk, isn't it? The spell went crazy, and now you and I can do this. I think so. How much can you see? Nothing, really. I see you, and the rest is just colors that can't hold their shape. I can only hear you, too. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't spy on you or sneak into your war room. No, no, it's not that. I kind of just wanted you to see this room. The one they gave me, it's, I mean, it's crazy awesome. Super big. When you look glum like that, it reminds me of when the Upbridge gang stole your shoes. <laughs> Don't. Don't bring up Saren. Not like that. Tell me, have you ever seen the color Salamine? It only exists in Rashan. It's one of the first things I noticed when they took me here. Just stop, Luna. Rashan doesn't have its own colors. But it really does. Come visit me. You'll see. <laughs> How can you even ask me that? Because I miss my best friend. I want you to see what I've done here. Who I am now. I have that farm I always used to talk about. Can you believe Rashan it? Rashan almost killed you, Luna. I, I thought they did. For years. I, I thought you were dead. It's like when you're not too long out in the sun. When you open your eyes, everything's kind of blue, but all mixed in. Imagine that, and put a pearl inside. That's what the color Salomon looks like. You don't get it, do you, Jack? All you are is angry. I'm trying my best not to get angry. Angry that the next time we see each other, one of us is going to kill the other. I just wanted us to talk and forget about that for a minute or two. Luna, wait! Can you believe it? The Anarchist has set aside her disgust of military institutions long enough to help us out. Oh, no. <laughs> There's still plenty of disgust. Would you two cut it out? They're waiting for us. Now, Kenzie, I appreciate our verbal fencing about the rabble's pillow-fisted outrage against the gentry, but the very large one there? She's actual royalty, so maybe not so much. Maybe none. Hmm? Look, I'm here because I want the Rasharnians out of my home. Not to make nice with some princess that thinks... Oh, my... I see. So it's all eat the rich until someone gets the vapors. Welcome to the Palathon, Kenzie of the Sky Tribes of Oramin. The Kingdom of Lucium is grateful for any help that you can give us. You bet. Are you scrying the entirety of Oramin at the same time? You'd need hundreds of scrying constructs to pull this off. Thousands. No wonder the rest of the kingdoms think Lucians are always lurking in the shadows. The amount of border alliance and fractions here is... <sighs> even for wartime. Yep, it really is an impressive feat of modern arcano engineering, but moving right along... You mispronounced invasive. Hm. When's the last time Orman even pretended to be at wartime? <sighs> You're looking at her. It's okay, Zandara. Kenzie's right. I'll submit a formal apology to Orman's High Council the next time they convene at Nosia. In case you hadn't heard, Sandrak destroyed Nosia, so she's being... I heard. Oh, so you did catch the shade. Very good. You're looking in the Tempest Slayer? That's the wrong place. Those islands are the newer ones. You gotta look underneath, where the first islands were dislodged. We checked. There are no Aristean ruins on the surface of those. Who said anything about the surface? The Aristea love an underground temple. Flip it. You're shitting me. See? I did have a good idea. Bringing her in, I mean. Ley lines are too unstable in that storm. And they will have powered down their portals. There's only one way we say hello. Get prepped for a combat drop. Captain, is our airship ready for launch to Oramin? Just give the word, sir. Her hull's watered against the worst the Tempest Layer can throw at us. We'll swing you in for a clean drop to the Shrine Forge. Time to lose. Let's go.
Talking about someone else, you're mistaking me for a guy named Sandrak, which frankly feels a little creepy. But anyway, I want to destroy the Binding Stone. You're not listening. I don't have a Binding Stone or a Mark. I can't surrender what I don't have. I already told you, I'm not... Wait. You can give me the same mark as Sandra. Control it, or destroy it. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. You don't win in ever war. If he found a way to use the Pining Stone, so can we. It's mastery over the front means I can end the war. Then I choose to end the war. Give me the mark to control the Binding Stone. <laughs> it out please say yes yeah we're uh we're good to go with this i can destroy the binding stone we just have to get close enough to sandrak how do you propose we do that when we don't even know where he is this mark gives me a connection to the binding stone i can feel where it is i can i can feel where sandrak is he's moving east towards the deep near there's a font in the ocean Sounds like it. All right, pack it in. We're leaving soon. I've got a hundred of Lori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't breathe. <gasps> sure, just interrupt my story in the rudest most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass. I was still assigned to Lights Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Roshanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So, anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father! My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. We call him the Turtle. I am not going to age well. So tell me, sir. When did you say to yourself, hey, bigotry, 
It's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, Initiate, to why I think the Unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. Another. How the fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. You see it too. You. You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more annoyed. Another. Damn it. Another. Use your last. Use your last. I know, I know. Another. Oh. Am I dead? Oh. It's him, isn't it? Sandrak's moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen, I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks, I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an unforeseen led the charge. <laughs>